This video will demonstrate how to solve a rational equality. The equality we have before us is 3 over 3x plus 2 equals 6 over 5x. The first thing we want to do is record our restrictions. That is, keep track of what x can't be. There's a denominator here, 5x. That's 5 times x. So what would make the denominator 0? Simply if x were 0. That's our first restriction. x cannot equal 0. The other denominator that would be a problem would be if this denominator were 0. So what would make that 0? Well, we'll solve that. What would make 3x plus 2 0? That's what we want to stay away from, so it can equal 0. Take away 2 both sides, and we get 3x cannot equal negative 2. In other words, x cannot equal negative 2 over 3. There's our two restrictions. Alright, we also want to record the common denominator. That is, we need a denominator that we're going to multiply both sides by to get a common denominator. This side here has 3x plus 2, that's going to be one of them, one of our factors for our common denominator. The other is going to be 5x. And so now, the way we're going to start to begin to solve here is we're going to multiply both sides by what's missing to get a common denominator. This left-hand side has a 3x plus 2, but we're going to need to multiply both top and bottom by the other piece, the other factor, 5x. And the right-hand side has a 5x in the denominator. It's missing 3x plus 2. We're going to multiply both sides, I should say top and bottom, by 3x plus 2. Notice that I put the factor in brackets here just to show I'm multiplying the whole thing by the new factor I'm multiplying by. Well, let's see what happens. 3 times 5x, that's easy, 15x on top. And on the bottom, we're just going to leave both factors as a pair of brackets. 3x plus 2 times 5x. On the right-hand side, we have 6 times 3x plus 2. We'll expand those brackets by rainbowing the 6 in. 6 times 3x is 18x. And 6 times 2 is 12. So we have 18x plus 12 all over same two brackets. I'm just going to write them in the same order, it doesn't matter, as 3x plus 2, 5x, just to be clear that this denominator is in fact a common denominator. Now what we can do because we're solving a rational equality is we can totally get rid of these denominators. That is, you can think of them being cancelled out or you can think of multiplying both sides by 3x plus 2 and by 5x. Those denominators only when we have an equality, not for an inequality, only for an equality, we can get rid of these denominators, multiply both sides by them, or just think of them as being cancelled out or dropped, and we're left with a simple linear equation. Now it's just a question of getting x by itself. Let's take away 18x from both sides, and when we do that we get 15x minus 18x is negative 3x. On the right hand side, 18x minus 18x cancels out, which is what we wanted, and we're left with negative 3x equals 12. Now divide both sides by negative 3, and we get our answer. x equals negative 4. Almost forgot the negative there. And the other thing I don't want to forget is my restrictions. Even though I've solved for x, we still want to let the reader know that you were aware of the restrictions. So going back to the beginning, we had two restrictions. x cannot be 0 and x cannot be ne negative 2 thirds. So we'll write those in numeric order. We know what x is but we went back and stated our restrictions just in case x equals negative 4 and our restrictions were throughout the whole time that x cannot be negative 2 thirds and x cannot be 0.